Just give us a scoop on exactly what went down as part of this transition. Well, to piggyback off of what Howie was just saying, there was such a big disconnect with the players there and Josh McDaniels that players recently were going upstairs to uh, the owner, Mark Davis, to tell them what their problems were. However, the big thing was, is last Thursday, there was this big airing of the grievance meeting and players just unloaded on Josh McDaniels from captain to captain to player to player. And finally, Josh McDaniels actually had Antonio Pierce get up and speak on behalf of him, and the coaches went. Antonio Pierce got up there. He said, look, guys, we have to have our own culture. It's got to be about culture here, and we also have to look at it. And he brought up the old Giants team that beat the Patriots, Josh McDaniels team, in the Super Bowl in 2007 season. He said, no matter who we played, we thought we could beat them. We had a game plan that we could beat them. We had to believe that, and that's not here. We have to believe it here at the Raiders. We could beat anybody. Well, he finishes up that speech. Everybody thinks they're great. Except for Josh McDaniels. Josh McDaniels then goes over to him and says, don't ever talk about the Patriots like that. And then you really saw how divided that building got. That got up to Mark Davis, and I think Mark Davis looked at it and go, okay, I'm going to choose the guy who believes that we can win every single week, and that's what his plan is going to be. And by the way, this is not just a throwaway for Antonio Pierce where, you know, he's just going to coach out the rest of the season. He has a shot to keep this job. That's Mark Davis's mindset. Wow. Okay, guys, this is some pretty breaking news surrounding the axing of former Raiders head coach Josh McDaniels from Jay Glazer. For some background, Antonio Pierce was on that Giants team in 2007 as a linebacker when they defeated the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl, and this was when McDaniels was the OC for the Pats. So in the Thursday practice before the Lions game on Monday Night Football last week, this is when the team meeting happened between all the players and coaching staff and everyone ripped into Josh to the point where it got pretty ugly. And reports are saying after this incident, a couple hours into practice, Josh McDaniels was utterly distraught by what happened and seemed to have mentally checked out during practice looking like a shell of himself. That sounds pretty crazy, having your own players and even assistant coaches ripping into you like that. Many on the team weren't happy with McDaniels' method for holding players accountable, lengthy meetings, overcorrection, and his tendency to blame them for play calling issues. Now there were also other issues like the signing of Jimmy Garoppolo and not starting Aiden O'Connell against the Chicago Bears, but in the end, team owner Mark Davis made the decision to fire his head coach after what transpired in that team meeting. Pretty insane to hear all this coming out of the Raiders camp. But don't feel sorry for Josh as the Raiders still own the remainder of what's left on his $45 million contract. 